Marjorie Taylor Greene is painting herself as the victim after she threatened to shut down the federal government if she doesn't get her way in the House of Representatives, which her way of course is getting an impeachment inquiry into President Biden. Marjorie Taylor Greene made it clear recently that if she does not get to launch that impeachment inquiry, then she is going to set uh, the entire government essentially on fire, shut it down, furlough countless federal workers, stop federal programs from functioning and cost the economy millions of dollars a day. She alone is willing to do that. If she doesn't get to do everything she wants to do one idiot representative from a tiny ass district in Georgia is threatening to ruin the government for everybody. If she doesn't get to investigate Biden, which the house of representatives has been doing all fricking year. Here is what green said recently. The white house is attacking me for demanding an impeachment inquiry before I'll vote to fund one penny to our over bloated $32 trillion in debt failing government. We have the evidence they have desperately been trying to hide to just ask the question. Should we inquire? Should we just take a look? Dare we investigate further? The answer is yes, but the white house is outraged at my audacity to demand it. So once again, she's making herself the victim. Like you are threatening hundreds of thousands of workers in the economy. You are threatening the very economy itself. You are pushing an investigation that even your own party at this point is starting to say, this is a real stupid idea and you're the victim, right? Because you're the one not getting your way. Now I do want everybody to think for just a second about how stupid this scenario is, because this may be one of the dumbest things I've ever had to talk about. Again, Marjorie Taylor Greene is from a tiny district in Georgia. Okay. She's not one of the hugely populous areas. She's this podunk, no offense to the people there, but you know, a smaller little district. She's one out of 435 members of the house of representatives. And that one person representing a couple, 10 thousands of people can shut the entire government down just because she doesn't get her way. Like this is worse than I'm going to take my ball and go home. She's I'm going to take my ball and shut down the government. Now, in case y'all haven't been following along with what's been happening, of course, a couple months ago, we had the debt ceiling negotiations. We got some spending bills to keep the government going for a few months, but we have multiple, I think there's like 14 appropriations bills that have to be passed by September 30th. And if those bills are not passed by September 30th, the government goes into shutdown mode. So we only have a few weeks. And you've got these far right extremists led, led by Marjorie Taylor Greene telling us that we're not going to vote for these funding bills. If we're not allowed to impeach president Biden, if we cannot politicize the justice system in the United States, you know, the same thing we've accused Democrats of doing, but we're going to do it instead. If we cannot do those things, then everybody in this country has to suffer at the hands of a couple of far right lawmakers who are representing districts that are so grotesquely overwhelming Republican that they don't even come close to representing the will of the American people as a whole. That is how stupid this situation is, but that's how the government is set up. That's what Marjorie Taylor Greene is going to do. And until she gets her way, she is going to continue to pretend that she is the victim here instead of the hundreds of thousands of workers whose livelihoods she's threatening. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the fair and balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like comment and share, but again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen. Oh, not be so grumpy.